Hi, welcome to this video today on using Google Docs. So the whole purpose of this video is to help you use Google Docs. You can also use Microsoft Word to write a letter. And um, we're going to focus on learning some of the formatting techniques and some of the more advanced features. It's really important you learn how to write a letter properly for when you get older. So if you need to send a letter off, it looks professional. Uh, we're going to leave the timestamps at the bottom for different parts of the video, so the red and the green bits. So we're going to start. So the first thing you're going to do is open Google Docs and we're going to create a blank one. So the first thing we do when we start a new document is we always give it a sensible file name. So I'm going to call this one Home Learning Letter. Right. To speed parts this video up, instead of watching me type for ages, I'm going to copy and paste different parts of my letter in and then use the features in Google Docs to change the format in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in my address. So you always start a letter with your address. And then when you write a letter, your address always goes on the right hand side of the page. So some people will keep pressing the space bar to move everything across. It looks really silly when you look at it and so there's all these spaces. So we're going to go back across, I'm going to delete that for a second. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use the alignment tool at the top. So I can align it to the right and it sends everything to the right in one go. And it's all in a nice neat line on the right hand side. So the next part of the letter is you put the address of the person that you're sending it to. So I'm going to go down a couple of lines. I'm going to send it back to the left, align to the left. And I'm going to paste in the address of the person we're sending it to. Okay, so we use the alignment tool for that. Right, I'm going to move on now to the next part of the red bit. So I'm going to copy and paste some more writing in. So this is who the letter is addressed to, the person, and my opening sentence. So on your work, it says you've got to try and use some bullet points. So I've said I will focus on three main parts. So I'm going to put in some bullet points. Okay, they're in there. Alright, so at the minute they're not bullet pointed, they're just written out in a line of three. So I'm going to select those, I'm going to click this button here and it's going to add some bullet points to them. I can also change what the bullet points look like, so I can have different ones. Right, so I've got loads of writing here, I've written this myself, I've copied and pasted it in so you don't have to watch me writing it. So I've said here, I've uh, recording completed work is the hardest bit of home learning, I've had to create a timetable to help keep track of what I have recorded. And then you always write your name underneath so they know who the signature is. If you go to insert and table, you'll see this little grid appears and that's how big your table is going to be. So we can make it 5 by one five by 2 All right, I'm going to use 5 by 2 because there's 5 days in a week. So I'm going to write Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then in the box underneath, we're going to write, but first I'm going to use that alignment tool again to make it look nice. And I'm going to make it bold so it stands out. So I've used the alignment tool again there to make my table look a little bit neater. So I'm going to paste in what I do on each day there. So the next thing we're going to do is headers and footers. So headers and footers go at the top and the bottom of your page. All right. You use these for like references in important letters. So if you were sending lots of letters, you put the same header in them all so they know uh, who it's come from. All right. So in the header, I'm going to write a uh, subject uh, letter to Boris, with a capital B, Mr. Grant Johnson. All right. And then if I let go of that, it's always at the top. So just so it doesn't stand out as much, I'm going to change the colour so it's faded a little bit. So it doesn't like it's something that it has to read. And then if I make a new page, you'll see that it automatically puts that at the top. So if there are lots of pages on this letter, all right, they'd all have that at the top. Where is it? It's drawing. New. All right, I'm going to try again. Select that scribble option. I'm going to make it smaller. And then you always write your name underneath so they know who the signature is. So 
the green task is using citations and references. In this paragraph here about the Oak National Academy and this bit here I've highlighted, I have copied from a government website. Alright, these are not my words, these are words from a different website so it's really important that I reference these. So if I go on tools and explore, all right, it brings up this column on the side. All right, so it, it notices that I've talked about Oakwood High School and lessons and classes. It knows I've t spoke about this, but I need to let the reader know that some of this work isn't mine. So I've gone to this website, and this is where I've got the information from. So it talks about the Oak National Academy. All right, and this is the bit I've taken. All right, that is not my own words. It's from this website. So if I put the web address in there that I've got it from, all right, I can see there, and if I click on it, it takes me back to the website. But I want to push these little speech marks, and if I push those, it adds a little number one, because it's the first one I've done, and then at the bottom of the page, it will tell the reader of the letter where I've got.